Oh, hello, all um, the gorgeous little children out there. I've um, got another story here for you, and this one is called Little Bo Peep and the Little Lost Lamb. Deep within the beautiful woodland stood a beautiful but ancient cottage. Tiny pretty fairies gently rocked the cradle of a baby girl, gently back and forth. She was the only born of the humble woodcutter. Around her cradle lay lovely roses. All of the animals of the forest came to make a visit to come and see this baby girl, each bringing her gifts. Even the gnomes brought her treasures. The woodcutter is very popular, was very popular. Even the mice of the fields were his friends and he knew each creature by name. One of the gnomes gave Bo Peep a very special gift, which was a brilliant green coloured gemstone. Bo Peep's real mum had passed away, but she is waiting to be re reunited with Bo Peep in heaven. There was, however, a blue bear in the forest who took care of her and became like a mother figure to her. And her sons were like as brothers to Bo Peep. The child grew more pretty every day until one day she was old enough to take care of her father's sheep. Little Bo Peep skipped happily through the fields along with her fairy friends who flew beside her. But she then felt tired and decided to take a nap. The blue bear saw little Bo Peep and came to lay beside her along with her baby cub sons. They all drifted into a deep sleep. Suddenly the evil hog appears saying to the sheep, come with me. Molly the sheep leader says, no, we must not follow strangers. The evil hog mocks, follow me, for the grass is greener on the other side. Molly and the other sheep give in and follow the hog, evil hog. He leads them to them to up a very steep and rocky path. Eventually they get lost and suddenly one are surrounded by hyenas. The leader of the pack praises the evil hog by saying, Good job, we have these sheep now. The hog mocked. Yep, and now Bo Peep will come looking after her sheep, and we will have her turned into a baby pig. Then the woodcutter's dad will never find her. Bo Peep woke up to see her sheep missing. I have to tell my daddy, she cried. The fairy says, we will help you find her, your sheep. Bo Peep said, I know you will, but I still need to let my father know. The blue bear comforted, we understand that you must inform your father, but let us help you. Bo Peep nodded her head in agreement, and they all went back to inform her dad. She pounded the door, panicking, Dad, I lost the sheep while I was asleep, but I want to bring them home. Her dad took little Bo Peep by the hand and gently smiled. Do not worry, because they will be coming home soon. Read the message that was written in the tree. Little Bo Peep draw shop and she read, Little Bo, as she read, Little Bo Peep has lost a sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Little Bo Peep has found her sheep and she knows where to find them. She left them alone and they came home, waggling their tails behind them. She continued, incredible, and this message even knows my name, but how did this writing came come about and how do they know the future? Her dad replied, your angel, your guardian angel wrote those words and the creator knows the future. All of a sudden, nine out of the ten of her sheep came into her garden. Sure enough, some of the prophecy came true. 
for she had lost her sheep and couldn't find them. But when she awoke, then she woke up. She left them alone for a bit, and now most of them eventually had come home again and were wagging their tails. But there was still that lost, last lost lamb. But she did not know where to find him. Little Bo Peep burst. We have got to find him. That one last lost little lamb. The gnomes turned up saying, Beware, the hog has dark and evil magic and can turn you into a baby pig if you're not careful. Let us come with you and take your green gemstone for protection. Little Bo Peep demanded, It does not matter that there's danger for he is one of mine and my dad's lost little lamb and we would take full responsibility for him. So little Bo Peep called out to all the creatures of the forest. He even called out, they even called out the mo out, out for his mice friends by their names, each by their name and a whole group of them set out to find this one lost sheep. They walked over steep cliffs and high hills, thistles and brambles, eventually coming to the place of the hyenas. But the little lost sheep lamb was not anywhere in sight. Little Bo Peep protested. What have you done with my one last lost lamb? The hyena mocked. We don't know what you were talking about. Little Bo Peep protested. Yes, you do. Hand him back to us, the hyena mocked. We have no idea where he is, but maybe we ate him already, little Bo Peep cried. You had better not. The hyena and his gang just cackled with such loud laughter, an evil laughter, and in unison laughed. What are you going to do about it? Little Bo Peep turned to her dad saying, we cannot give up looking for him. Her dad replied, of course not, child. Don't worry, we will find him. A lot of little Bo Peep's companions grew very weary and decided to abandon the search as they were growing hungry and tired. But little Bo Peep and her dad and the blue bear continued in the quest of finding that little lost lamb. Then her dad remembered the green coloured gemstone given to her by the gnome the, the day of her birth. He smiled. Dear, hold your green gemstone up towards the light. Maybe it has powers or hidden secrets in it that will tell you where our little precious lamb is right now. Little Bo Peep smiled and took her dad's advice. Green light shone towards the green hills ahead. They journeyed on into the wilderness where they were faced with many mighty animals, such as lions and tigers and wolves. Yet they bravely journeyed on to the rescue, to find and rescue their precious lamb. Eventually they came to the beautiful green hills. They were so beautiful and embedded within the, these green hills were some precious stones that little Bo Peep had been given to her. Suddenly the gnome appeared saying, here are the mighty elephants. They have the ability to travel wherever they want using the, these gemstones. In an instance, the gnome disappeared and they were surrounded by big mighty elephants. The biggest elephant said, don't be afraid, we are your friends and here to help you is our youngest elephant named Jup Jupiter and he is going to take you to your lamb. He has the green stones within his collar so he can teleport from one place to another and take you all with him. However still I do have to warn you about the evil hog. He is more dangerous than anyone can imagine. With that, Jupiter rubbed the green stone collar with his ears. Suddenly, they were surrounded by lava and very hot rocks. 
Jupiter said, although I am your new friend and brought you here, I am going to disappear back to where I was, as I cannot stand the heat and the flames. But your precious lamb is on top of that cliff if you want him. Little Bo Peep and her dad looked up to see lava pouring out all around the cliff. Jupiter disappeared, saying, Don't forget that your green gemstone can get you back to your home again. Even Blue Bear decided to stay with her cubs where the elephants were, as she did not want to risk being burnt because she had cubs to think about. So they stayed with the elephants. Now it was just little Bo Peep and her dad. Together they climbed up the steep hot cliffs. They looked up to spot the last lost little precious lamb. The evil hog was there and mocked. This little lamb was the most disobedient lamb who decided not to go back home when he had the chance. Yet, you still want to go after him? Little Bo Peep protested. Of course we do. He may indeed be disobedient, but he is still nevertheless our little lamb. Evil Hog mocked. You left the 99 um, found sheep to come after the one lost little lamb. You must be crazy. Little Bo Peep protested. He might be naughty, but we still love him and are crazy about him. Indeed, we love each and every creature of the forest, but because this lamb has strayed the most, he needs us the most. Little Bo Peep and her dad kept climbing up the rocks, while the evil hog kept on zapping all the rocks around them, making them hotter and more dangerous to climb. Eventually they reached the little lamb, and no sooner had little Bo Peep reached out to hold him, did the evil hog turn her into a baby pig. He laughed. Give up rescuing the lost lamb, for now you are a baby pig, and there is nothing you can do about it. Little Bo Peep stirs, cried. Turn her back right now. The evil hog mocked. Or what? For there is nothing. Nothing you can do about it. And and down below, the and meanwhile down below, the wolves have been opening their mouths, ready to devour her. But then, to the evil hog's horror, she turned back into being a little girl again. That cannot be possible," said the evil hog. Then the sky had a ray of light shine down, making the hot lava disappear and turn into beautiful springs of sparkling blue waters. The hog, hot rocks turned into pretty flowers and green flourishing lush hills. A voice sounded from above saying, All of little Bo Peep's life you have been very jealous of her and intended to turn her into a baby pig. However, the power of love is so much stronger than every pride or hatred. Little Bo Peep and her dad showed more love than any other person or creature of the forest, for they were the only ones willing to risk hunger, pain, even their very own lives, to rescue this one lost sheep. Um, I, the ultimate creator, noticed such love, so I decided to rescue Little Bo Peep from the evil hog's power and take away the evil hog's power away from him. From now on, this story will be told of the love and bravery of Little Bo Peep's heart. The little lost sheep returned back home that day with Little Bo Peep, her dad and the blue bear and her cubs. The gnomes, fairies, mice and all the other creatures who bravely went some of the way to rescue the precious lambs. Once the lost sheep was home safely, there was a huge celebration like never seen before within those woods. And that's the end of the story. And my thoughts is here is like little Bo Peep and the dad was like Jesus. 
Jesus is the good shepherd, the true shepherd. And he is the one, like little Bo Peep, that risked his life, who actually did give his life. And, um, you know, to go after each and every one of us, we were like all lost, that one lost sheep once. Yet Jesus gave his life to each and every one of us so that we, we could have life. And he gave, risked his life and that little Bo Peep risked her life. And, and um, he... He, um, even, it doesn't matter how, f like the lost sheep, little lamb in the story, it doesn't matter how far a person wanders away, that person is still precious to Jesus and he will still do everything he can to go after that what lost, that one lost person and, you know, to bring him, them back to his side. Um. Jesus never stops looking for those who yet do not know him or once knew him but wandered away from him. And we are, as humans, are tempted to give up ministering to the lost sheep just like the other creatures sometimes. We, as human beings, when things get hard and um, everything, we are often um, sometimes tempted not to always steal the word of God, but you know, um, God wants us to keep on carrying on his will and Jesus is the only one that perfectly obeyed God's will like little Bo Peep in the story and like her dad. So when it seems impossible, like the creatures of the forest, they we sometimes stop wanting to search for that lost, precious lost lamb. However, Jesus will, however, keep searching until that lost lamb is found and we'll want, we'd want us to do the same in never giving up on someone, no matter how hard it is. So in other words, you know, um, no matter how bad that person might be towards you and um, everything, God would not want us to stop ministering to that person or stop forgiving them or stop loving them. For his love is unconditional and he wants us to be too. Once the lost lamb is found, there is more rejoicing over one lost lamb that is found over 99 that is already found. So there is more rejoicing over one person that does not die, Jesus, that comes to know Jesus. And there is um, everybody that knows Jesus already. Anyway, I hope that you are all blessed by that story. And um, God bless you. And don't forget to... Um, keep on ministering to that lost sheep um you know no matter um how hard um or difficult they keep just keep forgiving that person and trying to um bring that person closer to jesus because that that's what jesus would want us to do and that's a message for you all today and god bless you all bye for now